What is this, dude? Full <laughs> middle. Okay, I need to be... What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sun and my name is Shinx and today we're gonna play Rohan against 7 Hard Isengards on a beautiful map of Brownlands in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 which improves the AI quite a lot and we need to make Dridamark proud we will be playing with Rohirrim, Rohirrim Arches, Theodin, Eoma, Eowyn and Crash eventually 7 Saramans and 7 Lords with a lot of Urukai we're gonna trample them down to death, trust me on that one. Okay, the plan is to be fast though, because the game is now way faster, and when you just wait and do nothing, the AI will actually seat you in a bit. And we need to be time efficient. So what we're gonna do is we need to kind of get through this early rough game and recruit, you know, heroes like Theodine, Elma, level them up to level four for the glorious charge and for the for the horse lord leadership from Elma, because leadership is gonna be important. However, the longer the game goes on, the, the more difficult it's going to be for us because we are against 700 Isengards. It means there will be a potential 7 freezing rains, which means our leadership is going to be completely negated. We have the new farm. Okay. So, I will actually skip everything else and go for Elma first and then Theory next and we'll try my best to level them up to level 4. You can also recruit Gimli, Legolas, Aragorn, Lita on, but early game we need to be counting on the Rohirrim in the mobility part advantage of the Riddermark faction. Okay, nice, ooh, nice. So getting the money is important. We have now 1400 for Elma. And then Theodin next. We might also need to recruit Legolas because Elma and Theodin all alone, they cannot really level up by themselves. You know, they need some sort of support. What you can do then is you can recruit Hold on a second. You can recruit Legolas and put your heroes... Oh, look, there is already Lords on the field. Okay, we need to kind of get cloaked here. Get invisible. What's happening? They're already, already here, man. Let's recruit Theodin. Let's close the gate and hope for the best. Okay, trample. Hopefully there is no Lords. You see, that's what I'm talking about, the speed. That's the dangerous part, you know? I mean, as long as there are no pikemen, I'm not too worried about this situation. But we need still lots of money. Look, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Okay, we need a steeple and we also need a well for the reco recovery part. Because we have no heal from the spellbook just yet. But unlocking power point shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. But, but what should be hard and what we need to be careful about is the way we use them. The power points, you know? Oh my goodness, man. Getting slowed down a lot. Too many units on the field. And I think getting out with one Rohirrim is not going to be the wisest choice of all time. Because I believe the Rohirrim is going to die just way too quickly. And we need to be kind of smart, you know? <laughs> but my lord, there is no such force. Are you sure about that? What is going on here? That's kind of crazy. Okay, we can go out, trample a little bit, go back in again. Uh, in a dream world, I want to have my Theorin level 4 and my Elma level 4 at the same time. Okay, luckily we have now power points for the heal. They war chanted. Okay, we need... They war chanted just my gate. I mean, it's okay for them to mess it up because they have 7 war chants, you know? Oh my... We need to be fast though because the siege is going to begin very soon and then we are kind of screwed. Okay, go back, go back. Alright, look Theorin, you know, Master the Rohirrim moment. I mean, I'm very scared about moving out without the heavy armor. But what we can do now is we can actually buy the Horseman Shield first. It gives us a bit more resistance against the arrows, which is pretty good because crossbowmen are going to deal just too much damage to our Rohirrim. I'm so scared, you know, to move out. Okay, the good thing is our um, Elma is level 4, which means in total we will have now more damage and more experience. Very important. Okay, shields are ready. I also need... Um, oh, I forgot about the spot, dude. I totally forgot about the spot. Okay, purchase. Okay, guys. Right now, right for ruin in the world's ending. Oh, Theorem was not nearby. We couldn't get experience. 
Too many units. Hey, Oma, Theodine. Okay. Okay, we, can, we cannot afford to lose. Damn, what are you doing? I'm gonna heal. I, I cannot afford to lose. We are kind of broke right now, you know? We need some... We need every single resource we can get. And losing a unit, which costs us 420, 480, plus the 350 for the horseman shields is just too much. So when you have to make a choice between heavy armor and forge blades, always choose heavy armor. That's very important, because the armor is just much more valuable in order to get the survivability. Because we don't need damage output as we can one-shot them anyway with the trample. They have no pikemen around this area yet, but they have like a crazy force. Luckily though, we have outlaw leadership from Eoman, which means we get money every single time we kill them. The okay, nice. So let's get heavy armor. Let's use the veg formation now, because we get a little, bit a little bit more damage, but we lose a little bit armor, but it's okay. We have now heavy armor. There is, There are like... What is this, dude? What is this, dude? <laughs> for four loot at the same time. Oh my goodness. Okay, right now. Okay, I mean, we got, we're gonna get level 4 here, by the way. Alright, boys, you know what time it is, right? Hold on a second. Yeah, right now, right for win. Look, the power points are rising. Let's look the money too. You see the money too? Is this the juiciest, glorious charge you've ever seen in your life? I mean, there are so many units that you slow down regardless, but we got so much money and lots of power points, dude. Level 10 instantly, can you imagine? This is crazy, my dude. Oh my, two Rohirrim to rule them all. I'm gonna buy this anyway, and I recruit um, one more Rohirrim. We have Aragorn, we wanna give him the Andril Sword for more damage, armor, and speed. And then we wanna go for the Cloud Break, because... Then we can make it just like in the films, you know, the sun is rising. Unfortunately, there is not going to be a Gandalf with the sun. Okay, so two level 10 Rohirrim with full upgrades. That's what you like to see. Let's get it, make it three. The new animation from Aragorn. And also what we can do is we can keep Aragorn also with the army. Because Aragorn also providing leadership. So we can send Aragorn out first because Aragorn can be the one who's going to kill eventually Lord and a lot of them. Glorious charge has a long cooldown. Make sure Aragorn is tanking all the damage while the Rohirrim are killing everything. Aragorn, very, very tanky hero, especially with the Blade Master Android combination. We can use now the Cloud Break. Stun them all. There are pikemen around. That's the scary part. There is a Saruman coming too. Glorious charge is almost back up. He crippled our Aragorn, by the way, guys, as you can see. Aragorn is just crushing everything level 8 that's what you love to see the fireballs so many sarmans on the field i think he got crippled multiple times oh what happened i didn't see that coming run 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 he tower 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 i didn't see that coming man it's legolas on the field fight around the well the towers, towers, the Lord of the Rings in the two towers. We need more than two towers in this game. Kill Lord, please, Aragorn. We cannot lose the Rohirrim. They are very important. We have Glorious Charge. Yes, sir. We can, we have it. Okay, nice. Go, 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 go now. The pikemen, when they are not in the porcupine formation, they don't deal the bonus damage to the cavalry. I mean, we have already EOD, by the way, long time ago. We killed so much stuff here. Look this guy, how smart. Look, Saruman's party, Saruman party. I see fireballs flying all around the map. I mean, the AI, you see how smart they are. They are disengaging. He just fireballs and crashes us. Look at the Sarmans, the wizards. Don't die, Legolas. I just got, got you on the field. I'm playing lazy, but there is too much happening in my game, boys. Let's get Gimli everything on the field. Oh, okay, nice. We killed him. Aragorn, can you heal him? No, Emma, don't die. I cannot lose you. Luckily, around the well, we can keep healing all the time. And you see, Elma made actual bank for us, dude. Like, we got so much value from Elma's outlaw leadership, that's kind of crazy. And also, our Aragorn is 
nearly level 10. I mean, he's fireballing us all the time. Legolas, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, Leg Aragorn, don't die. You are fine, you are fine, you are fine. Look, what is this for? What can men do against such a reckless seat? We need Legolas back on the menu, boys. Unfortunately, we lost him. My bad, sorry for that. And there are ladders coming from every single location. They are coming inside the jeans from the top. Look, there is this dude shooting. Kill him. Eowyn died too. Get it. Okay. We need to be around this location. He has fire arrows too. Give me level 4. That's good. Let's leap. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Because dwarf can jump himself. If I think we have all the power points unlocked from this spell book, right? Yeah, bees, yeah, we have all of them. Aragorn got crippled. Gimli can revenge you. Kill this dude. Oh, he got knocked down from the barista. We need to use hold ground stands on them because I don't want them to... How did he die so fast? Aragorn don't die. Aragorn don't die. You see how crazily fast this game is, man. It's unbelievable. Too many pikemen. Damn it. I'm gonna use these things. Let's use the ag aggressive stance. I'm just gonna go ham now. I'm gonna use the banner upgrades, you know? So I have a bit more tankiness. Okay, let's bail. Don't, don't, don't use... Oh man, I didn't want to do that. He auto used it. My bad, I guess. Okay, so we have fire arrows. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recruit two elven warriors. And I'm also gonna put Legolas on top of the wall. Because I saw you guys want me to put units on top of the wall. And you will get what you wanted. Okay, I mean, my Legolas randomly shooting the Lumber Mill for no reason. The siege has begun. Do I have Glorious Charge? Ready? Yes, sir. I'm just gonna trample. I'm gonna ignore everything because Glorious Charge is basically making us immune to damage. I mean, to be honest, Fire Rose is kind of dangerous because he has the, the mines. And the mines can mess us up big time. In order to win this, we need to kind of kill somebody ASAP. But the problem about killing somebody is not only it's difficult, obviously it's difficult. But also, um, I don't know if we can defend ourselves yet. Because we have only 5,000 in the bank. We need way more than that, to be honest. Lego Aragon can fight this. No problemo. Look, there is an explosive mine. You see, we need to make sure to destroy it before our elven warriors are going to shoot it down. Okay. Oh my goodness, man. Saruman is firing us. Firing at us. Okay. Our Alvin Warriors with Legolas around, he should be in a good spot. And now we have also these units, that's good. We also lost Gimli, right? Yeah, we need Gimli back too. Again, very dangerous with the explosive mines. And they are permanent, permanent sending us those explosive mines to our castle. Um, when I think about it, what we eventually gotta do instead is I'm gonna demolish one of the towers here. Build a... Let's use this, actually. Yes, sir. Aragorn is popping off. I'm going to demolish one of the farms. I mean, money... We can still use any, any sort of money, but... We can demolish this, too. I'm going to build a well around this spot. The reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is because the statue can also buff the units on top of the wall. And it can stack with the leadership from the Rohan battle banner. So, basically... It's going to be great. And our also Legolas uh, is providing leadership to the Elven, ally, Elven warriors, you know. So we can send them now to this location. I'm going to build a farm here. Just why not? Do I have only one Rohirrim Archer? Yeah, I, ca I cannot recruit any more units. We are command points kept. Okay. But it's Legolas. Legolas is also on the wall. Nice. Nice. So, my plan is... 
so I can leave this piece completely. You know what I'm saying? I want to build a defense because the towers are not going to be enough to defend this in long terms. That's why you have firepower. Okay, I mean, we should be in a good spot now. We have also one Rohirrim Archer for the pikemen. Also, I'm going to put Aragorn next to this with tall ground stands. And we will have even more leadership. You see, they cannot come even anywhere close. Okay, so let's hug the wall and move from this location to this location and destroy this Isengard next to our bees first. Damn, man. The fireball was kind of hitting like a truck. We need to kind of bail again. Look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on. I cannot watch. That's bad. I knew it. Man. That's why I don't like this firepower against Isengard. Because... You know, it's just too messed up, you know? But it's fine. It's fine. We, I'm gonna repair this part of the wall only. So they cannot come from this location. And they cannot come from this location anyway because of my elven warriors. Okay, put Aragorn next to them. I wanna have them leveled. One of them is level 6, one of them is level 5. That's good. And now we need to go. I'm going to put Lego, uh, Gimli next to Legolas because they are the best friends. And we have also EOD from the Spellbook, which is, you know, good. Because we can use it in the worst case scenario. Alright, so let, I'm going to use it actually right off the bat. So they make sure that EOD can tank the damage from this level 3 structures. So we don't have to tank them. And then go ham. I'm going to also, hold on. There are Ballista on the field. AOD, do you have still time? Please move if you do still have time to kill the Ballista. Just kill the Ballista. That's all I'm, you, all I'm asking you for. Nice. In the last possible seconds. Calculate it. There is a Ballista behind too. For death and glory. Kill this Ballista, please, man. Kill the Orphan, just like in the films. Okay, nice. Good thing is you have also money to buy this instantly. That's very important. When you play this, you want to make sure that you can buy the castle. You destroy it instantly. If you don't, there is a high chance that one of the other AIs, as we are playing against seven of them, are going to be able to buy it instead, you know? Just destroy this ballista. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I think we cannot even destroy this, really. That's really, really bad, actually. Because I lost, like, the majority of my army. Okay, I destroyed the Uruk pit, that's good. Now we need to bail. I lost, I've actually lost a lot, man. I need normal Rohirrim, they are more tanky. I have three Rohirrim archers, that's enough, you know, we don't need more than that, but we need normal Rohirrim. Yeah, and, you know, they were both level 10 too. Oh, man. As you can see, we need to kind of make sure that we can play around with only 120 command points, which is not enough. Kill this dude. Look, my Gimli, what is my Gimli doing? I'm gonna go here. Okay. I mean, we damaged them. We should be able to finish them. But you see, it's kind of tough, you know? Because we nerfed the EOD in this patch. So the duration of the EOD is kind of very limited. You can see the EOD is pretty much disappearing instantly. And you need to be very time efficient with your summons. Especially with the Balrog summon and EOD summon. As they have now way less time. Once you summon them. I mean, I just use the EOD to not get anything. But just to buy time, you know? Let's destroy this. You don't want to attack this with your Rohirrim. Because the Rohirrim are almost dealing no damage to this thing. We need fire to destroy the Orphan. Keep moving. This guy is literally spamming Ballista. Look how many Ballista he has. That's crazy. Okay. Do I have glorious charges? I do. 
What the heck is going on? I mean, that's kind of intense. What is... Who is destroying this? Just focus on the buildings now. Just trample. Destroy the last building. The Bazak is kind of crushing us. I'm just focusing on the building, but I hope that I won't be losing this area. I'm gonna repair this, actually. Okay, now one of them has been defeated. Now we gotta instantly buy this. And something is hurting my, my steeple. Okay, we need to buy this. We have also enough money to fill it immediately. That is my Legolas set. Legolas got to, got to about the wall. We can also use the aggressive stance. Let's close the gate and hope for the best. <laughs> That's all we can do. We cannot really fight this. Because we have our units are really, really badly damaged. Double well. Then farm, 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 farm. And then towers. I'm going to build two towers for now because... I cannot really afford... I mean, I can, but I also need to upgrade those units, you know? Okay. I'm gonna also repair one part of this wall. Legolas, you can go on top of the wall. So can Gimli. Our units are level 10. Now you might be asking yourself, hey, but why are you not using your level 10 heroes? I will. I will. Don't worry about it. But I need to be kind of... We need to kind of be smart, you know? About the way we move. Because it's not point. It's no point of getting a new beast but losing your old beast. You know, you don't want to go one for one. You want to go one, and then you want to keep defending what you got. Can you please shoot this dude? Oh, man, he almost hit my Legolas, by the way. What the heck? Okay, we healed up to full HP. That's good. Now we have two normal Rohirrim. That's also good. Instead of moving forward, I want to actually focus down this dude first. And I want, I want to actually see about how many units we will get the chance to kill until the end of the game. When you are getting this far, please let me know in the comment section down below before you check the end of the game. How many units do you think we killed in this game so far? Okay, not the best glorious charge in the world, I'm being honest with you. Oh, that's satisfying, man. Trample them down. Our thing is falling in the meantime to the Rohirrim archers. One of the best units in the game, in my opinion. Because the damage output from them is kind of crazy. They also deal bonus damage to heroes. And each level is a huge increase about the damage output. You have basically rangers on horses. You have incredible mob mobility. And, you know, you are pretty much hitting like a truck. You destroy this slaughter slaughterhouse and then we should be fine. Nice, ooh, that's what I wanted. Beautiful. Now we have another Rohirrim too, that's good. As we are defeating them, we also get more command points um, available. Keep in mind that in this game, the way the command points are calculated is, you know, base per unit. So basically, let's assume that our battalion of Rohirrim, they cost, what, 20. That means each of them, each, you have five units in the battalion. The banner that carrier doesn't count. Each of your five will give you, uh, will count as five. You know, 5 times 4, 20. Let's buy this. Nice. So, bees, what I'm trying to say with that is, you can make sure to extend your command points. Because the second you only... You, when you are able to save only one of the units, you know? Hold on, man. That's a huge fort. I'm going to close the gate, actually. Hold on a second. Don't, 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 don't die. Don't die. I'm, I'm not going to use AOD here. I'm going to try to beat them in by following me in, into this area. I mean, that's what I was trying to say. Rohirrim... Um, I mean, the glorious charge is on cooldown, and our leadership is kind of negated. He just firebolt my gate. I'm gonna build only towers for now. Okay, only towers for now, so we can keep defending this a bit easier in our farms because we are kind of still broke. We are investing too much money into these castles. Okay, nice. So we can heal up to full HP. In the meantime, what is happening? Uh, I need to use the Elven Alliance to kill the Ballista. Let's kill the Ballista. 
And that's what I'm trying to say, you know? Because the second you buy a beast, I'm gonna move on now and destroy this one at the top left side. Because this one seems to be in a good spot for now. For now. This one is being sieged, but we killed the ballista. That's good. Keep moving. Mary died somehow. Okay, but it's fine. I mean, there is no siege potential. I mean, there are ballista coming. Oh, I just trampled down the pikeman, didn't I? I just trampled with my units into the... And that's, that's really, really bad. Look, 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 the speed th troll. I'm gonna use EOD here. Oh, that's so bad. What have I done? I was running it down pretty much into the pikemen. That's really, really bad. Kill them all, kill them all. I just got fire fireballed, by the way, in the meantime. Just kill the Orphank if you can. Killed one of the Uruk pits. Okay, we need to bail. I would like to save my heroes if I can. Should be this should be in a good spot, I guess. I'm gonna give hold ground stands. Okay, never mind. He placed the bomb. Saruman is not smart enough to activate the bomb. But in the meantime, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, dude. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, well, well. It's kind of rough. I'm going to get some normal Rohirrim instead. I believe this is going to be lost, yeah. I, I cannot hold this. <laughs> I was barely able to hold this one. I'm going to repair the gates. Yep. You see, guys, it's not easy by all means, you know. Even though we have, like, an incredibly strong army, as you can see, we have, like, a bunch of level 10 Rohirrim. But the AI is just smarter, faster, and also richer. I'm just hoping that they won't be able to buy this immediately, this castle we just lost. But if you don't know, you can check this this way. If you can use the land in Fog of War, look, he just bought it. Now we can't use it anymore, you know? What happened? Oh my goodness, he just blow us up. Alright, so let's go. Let's go now. Don't attack the... Imagine imagine attacking the explosive mine now. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I have an idea. Let's go here. Okay, we should be in a kind of good spot. I hope. Did I not repair this? No, I didn't. I want to repair it now. And there comes the legendary freezing rain. It's the end of our leadership. Make sure that the normal Rohirrim are tanking the damage. You don't want your Rohirrim archers to tank the damage, you know? They are very squishy. So when you are playing against AI... What, what hap what's happening here? Look how many bears are, Chris. <laughs> oh, damn. What's happened? Why? I'm gonna use too many pikemen. Can you please kill the pikemen? Just kill the pikemen. Don't die. I thought he's gonna be tankier than he was, actually. My bad, I guess. Just focus on the buildings. That's all I'm asking you for. Oh man, this also got damaged big time. Alright, we defeated this dude. That's good. I don't even know how many we defeated yet. I just know that we are not winning this game at all. And I'm losing my level 10 Elven Warriors too because I'm not paying attention. I'm playing too lazy. 
Maybe I need more Rohirrim archers, man. I have only two battalion. They don't seem to be enough. They just don't seem to be enough. Don't put Pokemon formation. Okay. We have so many towers, but they don't seem to do uh, seem to do the job, you know. We have leadership back. That's good. And we destroyed this dude. That's also very good. So what we need to do now is we need to kind of draw attention to multiple areas at the same time. Aragorn was able to defeat uh, defend this. And we have both the elf, level 10 elves alive. That's really good. Okay. Great. So let's put... Let's boom this. Do it. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go to this location first. Make sure that we can purchase this. And then we can also... At the very same time... Gimli is almost back on the menu. But it's fine. We don't need him. We can also at the same time move to this location. And you see instantly. He just instantly bought it. But luckily we are just in time to destroy it also instantly. Let's repair everything. I don't like to have like a broken gate and stuff. And also this gate should be repaired very, very soon. Yep. Money is not a problem. I'm pretty certain that Elma made us so much money in this game. Okay. I was using whole ground stands from Elma. That's why, uh, from Aragon. That's why he was kind of running it down. So let's close the gates. We don't need to go in there. Now we can rotate it from the top side. Aragorn, come here. Support them. Okay, hold on a sec. Nah, I'm not gonna build Entmut here. It's just too far away from the base. I mean, the elves, they will take some time to destroy this stuff. Because archers are not dealing too much damage to the buildings. But they are having a crazy range. And also with Aragorn and Legolas, they also have more DPS. So 25% more damage from this dude. And 50% more damage from this dude. I'm not gonna build Entmut here either. I think I'm gonna build it here in this case. Because the one the one we're gonna attack next is gonna be in the middle. This door in the middle. Okay. We're taking care of this slowly but surely. You see, we have 190 out of 150 available command points because you can hold on. Yes, Carnage, don't fight him. Can build and smooth here. Rohan must stand. The enemy has settled here already. Okay, nice. Let's kill the pikeman in the porcupine formation. With the Rohirrim archers. Yeah. In the meantime, we are destroying this one. And our other bases are kind of good. Because the way we are moving is very important. You see? We destroyed this one. And then destroyed the one guy who was attacking this castle non-stop. And we are also rotating from the bottom side, which means they cannot pass through these units before they can get... They need to pass through these units before they can reach out to the bottom left spot. Oh my goodness, what happened? Yeah, when you talk too much, the Lourdes were actually taking care of us like crazy. Too many barista. I'm gonna peel back for now. Gimli joined the party. The ants are going to war. Look how many ants we have. Destroy the Orphank. Destroy the Siege Forks. Destroy the barista. The last march of the ants begins. The last march of the ants begins. Look how many ants are against the Orphank. But they're only... Look, the Berserker damage, dude. That's crazy. Okay, we are command points kept again. Because our units were only damaged. We didn't lose all of them. This dude needed like one hour to destroy one of the Barista. Are you kidding me? We have still time to destroy this Barista, please. That's all I'm asking you for. Let's use Cloud Break. Oh, he fireballed us. Let's use this. And go ham. 
man. Oh, too many pike pike formation, pike man. Just trample him, what the heck? Come on, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he crippled our Theodin. Ah, uh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die to the towers anyway. Towers are shooting him. Look how smart the AI is. The Lord is running for his life. Okay, I'm, I need to make sure to have more Rohirrim archers. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I could have saved him. I didn't pay attention. I'm playing so bad this game, man. It's playing so lazy. Okay. Run for your lives. Just run for your lives. Because we need more Rohirrim. I almost sold them. I almost accidentally sold them. I have only one row here. I have now two. Okay, elves. Let's buy this one. Again, for the second time. Hopefully, we won't be losing it for the second time as well. And my ants slowly but surely taking care of this castle. From a long distance. If you don't know, the ants, they have way more range. In compared to other siege weapons. Even more than trebuchet, for example. And in most cases, they can shoot off screen. So basically, when you shoot in Fog of War, your opponent won't even be able to see, you know, the ends. They, he will see where the shots are coming from, obviously, but he can't see the ends then. Just heal up a little bit more. Now we will rotate with this army to the bottom right. And with this army for the second time to the middle middle. I was lagging for a second. I don't know what happened. What happened, guys? Guys, what happened? Can somebody explain to me? I know what happened. I know what happened, man. I wasn't paying attention. And then he they accidentally attacked a mine. And I got wrecked. Literally wrecked. I lost my level 10 elves, too. That's the worst part about it, to be honest with you. I don't even mind about my heroes because I can revive them. But all my elves are gone. With that, my secondary army. Yeah, there comes a Balrog. Run, you fools. My 3-bit is gonna die too. 100%. There is no chance I can save him. Ah, oh, that's so bad, dude. <laughs> that's so bad that I just lost my heroes and my elves like that, you know? That's really, really unfortunate. Look how tanky 3-bit is, though. 3-bit is so tanky, man. I wanna, I wanna heal him, actually. I wanna heal them both at the same time. And now it's the end party. If you don't know, Tribute also provides leadership to the ends. So basically, that's the only way Rohan can ever give leadership to the ends. And it's actually buffed in the patch 2.22. Now you have a bit more armor and a bit more speed. Because the movement speed is the worst part about the ends, you know? And obviously the patch 2.2 will also provide you lots of, uh, you know, basically lots of information. It gives you the revive time, the recruit time for each unit. I also forgot to revive my Legolas, for example. It's really, really bad. Okay, just focus on the buildings, I believe. That's all we gotta do. Kill the buildings. Kill this. We kill this. Then we are good to go. We have the three hunters with one army. Unfortunately, they lost the Elven Alliance group. But this hard army has been defeated. So we have defeated one, two, three, four of them. Only three more to go. Talking about three more to go. 
You know what time it is? For me personally, it is only one thing. And the thing we need to do is we gotta build multiple int modes. Now we have a bit more command points available, but please keep in mind that the ends you get from the int mode after the int mode is finished to 100%. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You will have four ends spawning. Only for a short duration, but these ends they don't count to your command points. So when you have that much money, what you can do is you can build 10 int modes. Or in this case, we have like 30,000, we could build five of them. Look, there are pikemen on top of the gate. And ballista shooting too. Don't run, run, don't, don't, don't run. Kill the pikes with the archers. Okay, let's peel. Oh, three beards versus Saruman. I'm gonna heal you. I'm gonna heal you. I don't wanna lose you. Yeah, boy. Three beards MVP. What happened to this area? I'm gonna use Cloud Break to stun them, to make them slow a little bit. Uh, okay. You know what? Where is my Aragon at? Aragon, would you please mind to support this area? This is sound does it sound good for you? There comes the freezing rain, boys. And the problem is, I was reviving my Legolas from the Citadel too. It's really, really bad. Okay. But we should be able to save this. And we are also going to be able to save this one. Look how tanky Tribute is against arrows. Unless we have fire arrows, you know? He crippled my three beards. Just ignore and go. Oh my goodness, the pikes are coming out from the Uruk in the porcupine formation. I'm pretty tempted to actually screw the all and then just go for the end army, you know? That's, that's really, really what I want to do. Just lose all my army and then just make ends exclusively. Yeah, right this way. It sounds very, very smart to me. I've, I lost this end mood too, right? Yeah. Three bit can heal up around this side. Oh, nice. I'm happy that I didn't shoot this thing. I shoot something else though. Accidentally. <laughs> yeah, the explosive mines are very dangerous. That's the problem. <laughs> they are actually I oh my. Okay, I need to be My, my, my tribute was able to... I have a level 10 here! Okay. Correction. I hit a level 10 here. Okay, I have only Rohirrim Arches here. And also here, I have only Rohirrim Arches. Aragorn, don't die, please. Kill yourself. Gimli. Aragorn, you just bail. You don't need to fight and do anything. We also need to save Treebeard. Our ends, they should be in a good spot. Let's spam them. Let's spam a lot of ants. Let's spam a lot of ants. This I will pay. Another Balrog. Another Balrog.
I'm gonna heal them all. Tribia, what are you doing? Okay. Send them in. Kill the Ballista, please. Tribia, you go in then right after. So, because you can tank all the damage. Just kill the Ballista. EOD. Okay. Kill the Ballista. Nice. That's what I wanted you to do from the first at the first place. Kill the Orphank. Repair this, please. Come on. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. My hero should be back very, very soon. And just focus down the buildings. Let's just focus down the buildings. My ants are gone. I mean, I have one permanent ant. This, this guy is so tricky, I can't even shoot at them. Okay, nice. I lost all my Rohiri archers. All of them. I mean, I, I'm, I'm losing, by the way, this game. This is not won yet, this game. This is not won by all means. <laughs> Let's build another end mood. Legolas, run for your life. Man, Legolas, just run. You can do it, Legolas. I trust you. Berserkat is outrunning you. Okay, nice. We survived. That's good. I need to build end moods. A lot of end moods. Let's destroy this. I mean, I cannot believe it. Like, we were hardcore winning at some point. Then I messed up with my elven warriors. And now they are kind of coming from behind. They destroyed this from behind somehow. I don't even know how they did it, but they did it. Anyway, I'm gonna use. I need to use this one actually. Okay, please go and destroy this. Uh, we need to make three beards and a lot of ants. Like, just make crazy amount of ants. Oh my, he just took it again? Are you kidding me? Just destroy the ballista. Please, yeah, nice. That's all I want you to. All I wanted you to do. There are pikes. Don't fight against them. They are also using porcupine formation now, and there is a balrog summon too. Oh wow! And the ant mood got destroyed for the. Okay. Don't run into the pikemen. Just don't do it. Aragon is fine, right? Yeah, just kill these things. Where is Gimli at? Gimli, just kill the Ballista. Don't die. Don't. 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 Just don't. Double well around this side, double well. I'm just gonna spam Rohirrim then because they don't let me get ends, to be honest with you. That's the really, really sad part about it. Where's my Legolas at? What's Legolas doing? Maybe I can build end mood here. And peasants here. Because I need some sort of def defense. Where's all of that stuff? Oh man, stop running it. Okay, I'm gonna use whole ground stance now. I'm command points kept also. Look how many Rohirrim I have now. Master the Rohirrim. Aragon, don't die. Die, Aragon, die. It's okay though, because we will have the AOD summon from him back the second he's back on the menu. Okay, I'm just gonna go, boys. I'm just gonna go ham. Just kill this Ballista, Gimli. I have another Rohirrim army coming. I'm gonna just, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna really hardcore focus down. I need to summon the ants. 
defenders. Just just ignore the pikes and just ignore them all. Go around them. Kill this ballista. This ballista. Oh my! Are you kidding me? No way this just happened. No way you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. I give me that too. And he's killing my, my citadel so I cannot get my heroes back. That's unbelievable, man. That's really unbelievable. I'm gonna lose this, by the way. This is gonna be gone. Uh, there is no way I can save this. Maybe I can do with the... The barista is annoying. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This is rough. I had a plan. I had a plan. Theoretically... I had a plan. Can you just kill the barista, please? I just can't lose another castle, you know? That's not... Like, because I'm also losing this one almost. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Please, 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 please. Come on. I couldn't. I swear to you, I was spamming the button. I was spamming the button. Okay, just go, just go now. We have enough row, enough row here, I believe. Please don't lose that. Okay, there is no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use EOD here. It is how it is, so I have to, I have to do it. I cannot lose this. Just go and kill as much as you potentially can. All right. So where is my Legolas at? Okay, Legolas, you go on top of the wall. And now the round two. Can you please kill the pikeman? That's all you need to do. You just killed my AOD. Look, the damage the spikes are dealing to me like a splat pikeman, not even a full battalion. Just, just ignore, 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 ignore. Just ignore everything, attack the buildings. gonna kill the Uruk pits for now. Aragon is back. I don't I don't mind about losing the units. Luckily I have a lot of money. I just don't want to lose my heroes because they have a really long revive time as they are level 10. Don't die, Tyrion. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. You go to this piece. Please. Just focus on the buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Ioma. Come on. For Lord and Land. Oaths you have taken. Now fulfill them all. Look, this Lourdes doesn't want to let me finish him. He's angry. I cannot finish this. I cannot finish this piece. But it's okay. We, we dealt a lot of damage. The next push is going to be uh, definitely enough to finish this game, you know. That's good. As long as I can save my Elma, I should be in a good spot. And there is another Balrog. Just going to build statues here. Repair this, repair this, repair this. Nice, you have another army already. That's very, very good, actually. And you guys go to this spot, please. And you guys group on this area first. I want to use also the Elven Alliance so I can use the swords to kill the Barista. 
The Ballista, they are almost immune to arrow damage. So you need either fire arrows or you need other, you know, sword or cavalry to deal damage to them. Okay. Dude, that's one of the hardest games I've ever played against AI. And the most ironic part about this is that it was easier when we had seven opponents than now against two or three. That's kind of crazy. We need to make sure to... Okay, we're going to lose this 100%. There is zero percent chance we can save this. We cannot even recruit any more units around this area. But it's fine. I'm going to just focus down this dude. We have almost glorious... We have glorious shot actually back. That's good. Oh. Where is my Turin? And he's building, rebuilding stuff. And this is going to be gone. Just focus down the buildings. That's all we need to do. The last building. I know it's not it's not the best way to win, but I still take it. <laughs> Alright, kill this. I mean the, the game isn't over yet. But at least now we don't have to deal with three Balrogs spawning on us over and over again, you know? Look this. Ballista action. End mood time. You guys go back. Last march of the end begins. You know what we're gonna do? Oh, I mean, never mind. I just wanted to sell them all so I can make lots of ends only, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just don't want to mess up again, you know? And we have a lead now. Let's continue if we can. Look, the end moods, they are getting bullied in a second. I have an idea, though. And I was able to save this one, too, for, you know, somehow. I don't even know how. Can you destroy this? We're gonna spam end moods. We have, like, lots of money. We need to spam end moods. Just heal up a little bit. Just heal up. Okay, we have another end mood from this spot. Now send the ends forward. We can we can even build one more. Look how many ends we will have. Walk ends, walk. Come on, we are not here to waste time. We gotta walk before the next EOT. Kill the siege warics. Look how many. Okay, let's build another end mood. Okay, so now let's defend glory. Aragon Gimli, you guys also go ham, please. No, the ends are gone. They have not much time left anymore. I'm just gonna finish off this dude first, actually. We lost this region. Are there pikemen or what's slaughtering my army like that? I guess there are. Yeah, there are pikemen. Holy guacamole. Okay, just retreat then. One pikeman is crushing everything, by the way. It's unbelievable. There is a Balrog in my base too. Yeah, 
You guys can defend this, please. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind about losing my horses at this point, really. I just don't mind about that. <laughs> Trivid is not moving anymore. <laughs> okay, just protect this end mood. You guys can be sold. I don't I don't need you. Let's stop making more Rohirrim. We have a little bit of them. That's enough. Okay, this ram couldn't make it. Aragon, don't die. The ends are going to war. Okay. The, the, the crazy thing is, in the patch 1.06, the ends they used to only cost 10 command points. I mean, 15 is still not much. Because they are almost immune to damage from anything but fire. Oh my goodness, man. This is so annoying, the Balrogs. I will represent the men of Gondor. Thanks for the follow on the Twitch, uh, on the Twitch channel. Appreciate it. God of War 28 means a lot. Okay. Sorry for this game to take that long. What is this damage? Run, you fool. Gimli, run also. Please don't die. Okay, another ain't mood. Let's go. And let's destroy this. Get more ants up on the field. Should be able to save him. I guess. We are command points kept, ladies and gentlemen. The ballista, they are hurting my ants a lot. Actually, a lot. We have still lots of Rohirrim on the field. It's not like we have nothing. We have still a lot of them. Yeah, the ends, they are getting bullied by the Bali Balista. Actually. Okay. Okay, let's just go ham. Oh my goodness. Look how many ends we have. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's you also support them. The ends on their mission to dominate the race of I don't want to lose my peasants. Okay, nice. We will make it. More ants. That's what you like to see. Aragorn, Gimli, go out and save today. Look how many ants we have on the field. That's crazy, dude. I like that. It's one of the longest games I've ever played, actually. That's kind of crazy. And even though the speed is so much greater, you know, we made a lot of, I mean, obviously it was not a flawless game from me by all sides, by all means, I mean, uh, I've made lots of mistakes in this game, but all these mistakes are leading to a fiesta game. Use it. Nice. Okay. Only one more to go. And what better way you would have to finish off this game besides having 5,000 ants inside the castle of Isengard. I have two more ants in at this spot. Let's bring them all together. Let's heal up a little bit with the, with the units. Make farms. And now we have all of a sudden 250 command points available. Too many ballista. Just too many of them. It's okay. I will show you guys the potential of Gimli. Just jump for now. Oh, I missed on the ballista. Doesn't matter. You can one shot them. You see, when you have Slayer, you can do crazy stuff like that. <laughs> Just go in, ignore everything. They cannot catch you. You are too tanky. They cannot kill you. And then, boom, you're out. <laughs> Gimli. 
That's what you like to see. We have more ends coming. More ends. Okay, we are command points kept. Well, I'm command points kept. And when there is going to be only 1v1 situation, what I like to do is I like to press Q button and right click on this spot. Let's do Cloud Break to stun them all. My peasants are also coming. This way, my friends. I'm not even paying attention anymore. What? Come together, my friends. Use AOD, use elves. And for the first time ever in this game, let's also guess, you know, <laughs> I guess we need to also use the Alvin wood. But we need also uh, these three dudes. And another end mood is coming up. Another end mood is coming up. And another will be coming up eventually. Look, Lourdes is running for his life. The Rohirrim are coming. Yeah! Q again. Go, go, go. Click on it. The ends are going to war. <laughs> More ends, boys. More ends, more ends, more ends. Give me one Oh, not even close, baby. Calculate it. Yeah, I mean, that's what you like to see. Dude, it was a suffer game, boys. I hope you enjoyed this as we are defeating the final Isengard. I mean, I want to see, like, again, before we get to the end of the game, to the end screen of the game, please let me know now in the comment section down below about what do you think, how, how many units we killed, okay? You need to guess now, now, before you see the end score. Guess now in the comments the number of units we killed in this game. I mean, I don't know. I think we killed over a thousand. I mean, that's like the definition, you know. You 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 know the films, you know, when Wormtongue was talking, when Grima was talking to Saruman, and he's like, "We need thousands and tens of thousands." But guess what, Saruman? Not even tens of thousands are enough to defeat. The Rhythm Mark Faction Rohan. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Let me know in the comment section down below. Which faction should I play against which faction in the 1v7 episode the next time? Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.